Hey everybody, as always, I hope you're doing well out there. In today's video, I'm going to be walking you through how to create a custom activity using your Garmin Instinct watch. Now, I'm going to be using the Garmin Instinct Solar today. doesn't matter which version of Garmin Instinct you've got, Solar or not, this video should work for everybody. I'll also mention I'm using the first generation Garmin Instinct. The reason I mentioned that today is because my understanding is they're coming out with a second generation in 2022. So why would you need to do a custom activity? The Garmin Instinct comes with lots of activities preloaded that you can do jogging, walking, hiking, hunting, um, so on and so forth, depending on the model that you've got. But maybe there's something that you're trying to do that the Garmin Instinct doesn't have. They give you the ability to create a custom activity that you can build any way you want to. And that's what we're gonna be doing. So for today's video, I'm gonna be creating an activity to mirror what my Nixon Regulus Expedition watch does. And that shows me the time and the temperature from the thermometer sensor on one screen. Now, I know you're sitting there watching this and you're saying, wait a minute, your Garmin Instinct is showing the temperature. It really doesn't. It shows you the weather widget, but it doesn't give you the option to show the thermometer value, which comes from your temperature widget, which is here. But I can create a custom activity and build it the way I want to show the thermometer value as well as the time. And that's what we're going to be doing. So to do this, we're going to press and hold the menu button. And then we're going to use the up or down button. We're going to go to settings press GPS to select settings. And then again, we're gonna press GPS to select activities and apps. Now you're gonna see the activities and apps that I've already got installed, but I can simply press the up button to get to the bottom of the list. And I've got an option to add. I'm gonna press GPS to select add. Now I can copy an activity and build it off of a copy. I can choose one of the values that they already have installed that I don't already have on my watch, or I can go to the very bottom of the list and I've got the option for other. I'm gonna press GPS to select other. So the first thing I need to do is name what I want my custom activity to be called. So in this example, because all I'm doing is thermometer, I'm gonna call it temp for temperature. Don't worry too much about the name. You can always go in and rename it. So if you name it and say, oh man, I should have called it something else. You can always change this. So give me a second here. So now we've got it named. The next thing you want to do is choose the data screens. Now, what I always recommend is when we press GPS to go into data screens, they're already going to have some kind of set for you. I would recommend pressing GPS and just removing all of these. So I'm going to remove that. I'm going to remove this one. And I'm going to remove this one. They make you keep one of them. So I'm gonna keep this one here, but I'm gonna press the down button and I'm just gonna add my own screen. Once I've added one, then I can go remove that other one that was still out there. So the first thing we get when we go into add is custom data. I'm gonna choose what data do I want on the data screen in my activity. First, I have to choose a layout. So the first layout is gonna be your two data field layout, but I can press the up or down button and I can choose a three field one four field one, this four field one, five field, so on and so forth. In my example, all I really need are two data fields. I'm gonna press GPS to select that. It wants me to choose what value do I want in this upper data field. So for my example, I'm going to choose the temperature field and I want it to be the temperature. My second data field it wants me to choose I can choose any one of these values. So depending, most cases, you're gonna be building some kind of uh, athletic activity or something like that. You can choose any one of these categories and go in and choose the given value that you're wanting to put in that activity. For me, I'm going to choose time of day. So now I've got a data field that's showing time of day and the temperature from my thermometer sensor. Now what I can do is I can go back to that previous one that was delivered, I can press GPS to select it and I can remove it. So now I just have one data screen that has the values that I wanted. Now, when you're building your custom activity, you can have as many data screens as you want to, but for my activity, I really only need that one. I'm gonna press the back button. Now I can set up other values. For example, what kind of alerts do I want in this activity? What power mode do I want this activity to use? Do I want it to use a metronome? Do I wanna do auto lap, auto pause? auto climb. I'm not going to go into all these specifics. I've done videos in the past that walk you through all of these things and what they do if you wanted to look at any of those. The key one I would think that you'd want to look at is GPS. In my activity, I don't really need GPS. All I want to see is the time 
and the temperature. So I'm gonna turn the GPS off. Again, you can adjust these any way you want to. I can change the background color. And then at the bottom, as I mentioned before, I can rename it. But in my case, I'm pretty much done with my custom activity. So I'm just gonna choose done. It asked me if I wanna set it as a favorite. You can choose to set it as a favorite or not. I'm gonna choose no, and then I can choose where do I want it to, paw, to fall in my activity list. So I'm gonna move it all the way to the top, press GPS. Now I've successfully created a custom activity called temp, and I've put it at the top of my activity list. So now let's go and let's do my custom activity. I'm gonna press the GPS button. Top of the list is one called temp. I can press GPS to go into the activity. You can see I don't have GPS because I turned that off for this custom activity. When I start the activity, we've got the values that I wanted. So now I've got a custom activity that matches what my Nixon Regulus Expedition was. It's showing me the temperature, not from the weather widget, but from my temperature sensor, and it's showing me the time of day. I could have also added barometric pressure, but I've got the barometer sensor on here that I could just go with the ABC button to there. But if I wanted to, I could go in and I could customize this activity to show the barometric pressure value as well. Anyway, that's just a quick example to show you how you can go create your own custom activity on your Garmin Instinct watch. As always, I hope this video helps. If you've got any questions, post them in the comments. Be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching.